In this video, we are going to show you about the participatory method of conducting a stakeholder's workshop. The workshop topic will be on developing strategies to make the rice sector in one's country more sustainable. We are going to use a technique that uses an analysis of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, or SWOT, combined with what we call a Strategic Orientation Round, or SOR. These are the steps. First, to achieve a common understanding of the concept of sustainability, a presentation is given about the discussed particular topic. In this case, sustainable food value chain development. The framework presented covers the triple bottom line of economic, social, and environmental sustainability. The goals of the workshop and the technique to be used are presented. Next, participants are divided into smaller groups of five to six persons each to discuss and list down the strengths and weaknesses of the rice sector as it pertains to its sustainability. By strength, we pertain to characteristics of the rice sector that give it an advantage over other competitors. On the contrary, by weakness, we pertain to characteristics that place the rice sector at a disadvantage relative to other competitors. Strengths and weaknesses are internal to the rice sector and can be controlled. Each group then chooses a representative to briefly present the list of strengths and weaknesses that they came up with. Next, each group will discuss and list down opportunities and threats that the rice sector faces. Opportunities are elements that the rice sector could use to its advantage. Threats are elements that could cause trouble for the rice sector. Opportunities and threats are factors external to the rice sector and are thus beyond one's control. After the discussions are concluded, the lists are gathered from the groups and filtered for repeating or overlapping answers. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that are misclassified are placed in the appropriate sections by the researchers. A long list of all the SWOT items identified by the participants is then completed. From the full list, each group chooses five of what they decide are the most important strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. SWOT items that appear consistently across the group's lists are automatically included in the final list. SWOT items that are different from the rest are discussed by group representatives. All the participants then decide whether to include these items in the final SWOT list. After the general discussion, participants fill in the SOR matrix individually. In the matrix, Participants score each strength and weakness depending on how important or influential each is over each opportunity and threat. Scoring is on a scale of 0 to 3, with 0 being the least important and 3 as the most important. Only a maximum of 12 points can be attributed to each column. First, each participant rates each strength according to how important it is in helping the rice sector benefit from each opportunity. Next, each participant rates each weakness according to how important it is in preventing the rice sector from benefiting from each opportunity. Next, each participant rates each strength according to how important it is in helping the rice sector cope with each threat. Finally, each participant rates each weakness according to how important it is in preventing the rice sector from coping with each threat. The scores in the SOR matrix can be analyzed by quadrant, by column, or by cell. Total scores per quadrant reveal the most relevant strategic choice for improving sustainability. This level provides an overview of what the best main strategy would be for the rice sector to become more sustainable.
For example, in Vietnam, government support and good politics were found to provide a strong basis for taking advantage of an expanding export market. Vietnamese farmers are also quite experienced, which allows them to seize the opportunity presented by new and advanced technologies. Next, the total score per strength, weakness, opportunity or threat can be analyzed per column. It is possible to rank these according to importance. The total scores indicate the relevance of each cell compared with the other cells in the SWOT matrix. There are several ways to interpret collected data. Results obtained through a participatory workshop can help scientists develop overall more inclusive and comprehensive strategies for the sustainable development of a country's rice value chain.